So I just got done hooking up this cold side handle. Now that's all good, but I noticed something here. Look at that size of the gap, two fingers. This side's like almost four. Hey folks, that fix it guy here. And I just shot a video in my main bathroom fixing the cold side of the faucet. Well, then I noticed that the spout was off. It just kind of looked all funky and my wife, <laughs> she's like, hey, you didn't notice that before? It's been like that for a long time. Well, <laughs> we're gonna fix that real quick, real easy with the basin wrench. We didn't even have to shut the water off. So come along, let's get to fixing. This is definitely a tight space up underneath here, but we don't have to shut the water off or anything. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna show you how I could get this done really quick. We're just gonna loosen up that nut with this basin wrench. This is by Rigid. This is like the cream of the crop. A little bit heavier, a little bulkier, but man, comes with a cool light. Really easy to adjust. Like, this thing is awesome. This bottom part pops off. You can also move this all the way over to get extra leverage. You pop this right here off. You can actually stick a uh, socket wrench down at the bottom of this. Some of the other ones that I've owned in my life don't do things like this one does. So now I'm gonna have my wife hold this. I'm gonna have her move it exactly where she wants it once I get down there and start loosening things up. So now we need to loosen this nut right here. You can see it's very uneven in this hole. We're just gonna slide this whole thing over a little bit once we get it loosened. How do I know whether I'm tightening or loosening with my basin wrench when I'm underneath the sink, right? Like this is gonna be an easy thing. This is a different basin wrench than the one I use to do the work, but same thing, same principle, just different. It's an older one that I had, and honestly, it doesn't work as well as the rigid, by rigid. It just works way better, man. So the best way that I can explain this, if you take this and you hold the jaw up to you right here like this, and it opens out this way, well, to the left is loosening. You're actually going to be loosening that way. And then to the right is tightening, right? If you stick your finger in there and you try to tighten, you're gonna be tightening this. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. Still applies right here on your basin wrench when you're underneath your sink and you're looking up at it, okay? There we go. Okay. So we got that off of there. Now I'll have my wife move it to where it needs to go. Okay, perfect. Well, she's got a good measuring system there. So then we'll just get that started. And now our basin wrench, we have to flip over the other way. Camera's gonna be in the way a little bit. Okay, how's that? Is that tight enough? Moved over, looks better. Yeah, so now check this out. The spacing is good to go. Three fingers on each side. Thank you to my wife, my hand model, once again. I kind of wish they made a smaller, more sleek basin wrench that actually was like half the thickness of this. It would be pretty cool and I bet it would still work pretty good. Um, if you guys know a tool, let me know, please. Because sometimes, I mean, as any of you know, you're getting underneath the faucet and you're trying to take that apart. Well, tight spaces, right? But a base wrench certainly does help. Uh, sometimes little baby channies or, you know, different stuff you can get in there and do, do some tweaks with. But in this case, we got it hooked up. My wife even helped on the video for a little bit and we're good to go. I really hope you folks are enjoying the videos. Please subscribe, follow us over on Facebook. You know, we're just trying to help people out. We hope we're doing that. Thank you very much. And we'll see you again real soon. You ready, babe? Okay, I'm ready. Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, so. We just need to get this little nut right here. We need to turn that and just loosen it up a little bit, slide this over and then tighten it back up. All right. Oh, 
without knocking our camera over. That's a bummer. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's freaking jacking me up, man.